Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com My name is Sumit and in this video I am going to demonstrate you how to configure GIT with Salesforce. As you know that Salesforce is an online cloud CRM solution and where we can store our Salesforce database, we can store our client information, customer information and not only we can store data but also we can create pages and triggers we can configure triggers and pages and GIT is an online repository which can be shared among multiple developers so that whenever any developer make changes in the database it will get reflect to all other developers as well so through this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate you how can we configure GIT or how can we integrate GIT with Salesforce so for this we'll be going to use Eclipse for this solution so I'm using Eclipse Kapler service release tool this is the updated version which I'm using and in this Eclipse version as you can see here the force.com ID has been successfully configured so the first thing which you have to do is you have to set up you have to download and install the Eclipse on your operating system then click on help install new software so I click on help install new software and here I type a URL that is called force.com IDE HTTP media developer force.com Eclipse and from here I select force.com ID but because in my case I have already installed ID so I can see the available software site which has already been configured successfully with my Eclipse so I click on this link and I can see that force.com ID has already been configured successfully so I click on OK and cancel this I'm not going to add additional one so let's start from the beginning so first of all we should have our force.com account so to extract the data from Salesforce we should have a Salesforce developer account because to connect with Salesforce will be requiring the username password and the security token now how to reset security token in Salesforce for that video you uh, for that information you can go through my existing video in which I have mentioned that how to reset the security token from Salesforce so I click on file new so I click on file new and select force.com project so click on force.com project specify name here BISP test project username this will be my Salesforce username password and security token so security token is must so I provide my username so .bisp at bisp .com. my password of my developers account and I'm requiring the security token so that's my security token and click on next so it will start fetching the organization details and will ask me to load the required files So as you can see here it has fetched the initial project con contents so I include all of the components all of the all the components which are available within my developers account which contains the apex and visual force pages classes triggers components all the static resources and so on I would like to include all of them so I click on finish So you can see here project has been successfully added with the following resources the classes all the classes are available along with the components if any components are available in that project all the pages so all these are pages which I have been defined in my developers account in my Salesforce developers account and so on after we're done with this we need to install GIT so I again go to help click on Eclipse marketplace and from here we need to install EGIT so in my case I have already installed EGIT 
So I entered here E G I T and I look for this reference. So we'll be requiring this E G I T that is G I T integration for Eclipse 4.5.0. So as you can see here in my case, I'm not getting this kind of button. I'm getting the uninstall or the update button. So update is not required because I'm, I have already installed. I have already configured the updated version or the latest version of GIT integration for Eclipse. But I'm getting uninstall button because I have already installed it. So this, this, I have, this is already installed in my solution. So that's why I'm not requiring to install it again but in your case because it this will be a first time so you need to click on install button and then it will set up egit on your current system with your current eclipse so now it's time to configure repository on your local system and uh, we used to call it as a local repository so to set up a local repository or to configure a repository on a local system I right click on the project click on team and then click on share project so when you click on share project once you have successfully configured git in your eclipse you will be getting git so i select this git click next in the next window we need to configure git repository so either we can select an existing repository or we can create a new one so basically i'm going to create a folder on my desktop and uh, that folder I will be treated as a local repository. So I click on create, browse, and on my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder named as BISPGIT. BISPGIT, something like this, and OK finish rest of the things we do not need to touch they will remain same and click on finish so if you if we get back the home page you see we are getting one folder named as bisp git it says bisp test project which contains all the classes all the components all the pages and triggers so this is the lo local repository for the current project now if you check the salesforce project there is a folder which looks something like this question mark this question mark means that git does not know what to do with these files either we can schedule them for commit or we can add few of them in the ignore list uh, ignore me ignore list means they will not be saved in the git so what we'll do is we will commit our files and folders in local repository before that we have to mention that which files and folders should be committed and ignored. So in this case I'm going to add all the files all the files and folders for uh, to add to the commit or to the direct to the Salesforce directory for commit so I right click on the project again select team and from here I select add to index and after this add to index operation you can see the icon has been turned into something like this so now it's time to commit all the index file and folders in the local repository so again I right click on the folder project team and this time I select commit so finally the it would be asking for me to commit so you can see it is asked it it opens a commit it opens a directory which will ask us to commit the changes so I, I give a message here I simply type a message here my first my first commit for BISP demo project so these are the files so there are around 136 files which are included for the commit and author is this committer is this and I simply click on commit and the changes have been successfully done into this local repository. So until here we have done configuration for local repository. Now let's move on to create a remote repository. 
so for remote repository there are a lot of options there are a lot of repositories available for hosting the code which supports the git like we have github we have bitbucket and we have unfundle so in this case i am using github and i have already configured i have already registered on github so as you can see i have already registered on github named as sumit girl 2006 so and in this github i have already created new few repositories so you can see these are the repositories which are already configured in this that's so let's suppose i use i am going to use the existing one so i want to configure this i want to integrate this test git repository with my current solution with my current project so that whenever we commit our project whenever we make any change in our solution in salesforce and we make commit from here it will quickly reflect into our git online or our on our remote repository so for this we need to click on this test git and here we would be uh, we would be requiring the url for this repository so as you can see here this repository is blank there are no files which have been added into this repository it's a blank file so i would be requiring a url so for the url click on this clone or download this repository and you will be getting the url so this url is a https url also we have got ssh as well so but in ssh we would be requiring the keys security key and something like that so i'm not going to you i'm not going to go for ssh i'll go for https so i select this url and copy this url or you can paste it somewhere else so that we can use it whenever it is required so we'll be requiring it very soon so i'll get back to the eclipse click on open perspectives and from here i select git that is the git repository exploring so i select this click on okay so it will create a new git repository for the current project bisp g git so here we will get the list of the local repositories in this perspective so right click on remote and click create remote here i'll give a name to this so bisp git and this will be configuring push because i would like to uh, we can configure both push and fetch push is to to store the data store the uh, files onto the remote repository and fetch is to fetch the web data fetch the files and the folders from the remote repository so here i am going to configure uh, by default i am going to configure here push so i click on okay it is asking for url so click on change and here we need to paste the url so i'll just get back to my test git copy this url from here paste this url and here we need to provide username and password because i have already added this configured this earlier so that's why i'm getting this option if you don't want this to be appear automatically you can uncheck this option so next time when you provide url this will not display username and password so for just for safer side because i am the only developer for this right now so i'm uh, just enable i uh, just check this and the protocol will be https because this is https protocol click on finish so as you can see here we have push uri but also we need to configure reference mapping so for reference mapping for reference mapping i click on add and remove this head and instead of this i want to store this into the master branch master branch is because we are the branch is master here we would like to store in a master branch so here also i select master branch like this i copy this local branch and paste in the remote branch as well and click on okay so for local branch and for remote branch both are same and okay 
so when we click on dry run we'll be getting this kind of error message now this error message i shown you intentionally so that in your case if you get this kind of error message how to sort out this issue to so to sort out this issue first of all i click on ok and i save it do not click on save and push simply click on save so how to sort out this issue first of all select remote bisp git this is for fetch this is for push so right click and click on configure fetch in this configure fetch that's the url so we need to do the mapping so ensure that it pointed to the remote repository so i click on add add and here i type master so it will be getting the remote fetch source so that's the same fetch source which we have specified in the push one so for this case we need to specify both push and fetch click on next and finish so finish and save it so let's test the fetch one so i right click and click on fetch and you can see the here the process is going on and it will show 100% successful so the fetch has been done successfully there is no issue with fetch next click on branch folder as here, here we have branches so i expand branch in branches select local and master so select right click and click on merge click on merge then i select the master so i select this bisp git master and click on merge okay so the merge has been done now finally we can test it so for testing we can click on push so to test whether it is pushing the data into the repository successfully or not so i get back to my force.com right click on my project go to team remote and click on push here i select the current configuration configured remote repository bisp github test git click on finish and you can see the process is going on it's 50% done successfully so there is no error message it means the files have been the folders and the files have been pushed successfully on to the remote repository so now let's go back to the github and let's test it so for right now test git is a blank so i just refresh it and you can see here as soon as i refreshed it i got a new folder named as bisp test project it's the message is my first commit for bisp demo project expanded bisp test project and will get all the files src files project files and settings so when i expand src i'll be getting all the classes components pages triggers and so on so like this we can upload we can integrate git with salesforce by using eclipse now this would be helpful for all the other developers who would like to who would like to access the who all are working on the same project on the same salesforce project so that's how we can integrate git with salesforce by using eclipse that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisp20.com you can subscribe our youtube channel keep watching have a nice day goodbye